before we start, just want to say stay tuned for info on my 100k giveaway later in this video. Now if you'd like to see how my workspace is integrated with the rest of my room, you can check out my recent room tour. Today's video is a follow on from that to show you a more in depth look at my desk along with 5 tips to create a productive and inspirational and peaceful space for yourself. So we'll start with the desk itself and my very first tip, streamline. My desk stays relatively clear with most of the clutter out of view. Ideally it's great to have a workspace that looks out of a window or even out at the room rather than facing a wall because it encourages a feeling of space, it's perfect for opening your mind to any ideas that might be stifled in your head. If that's not doable it's always nice to at least have a pretty wall to look at. The main thing is to keep your line of sight clear of too much clutter which is why my first key to keeping an organised space is to be ruthless with what you need and what you don't. It's a lot easier to organise without surplus things to find places for. Have a clear out and keep only the things that have value to you. Tip 2. With the things you've kept it's time to ask yourself if you should put it away or display. This one's all about personal preference. Along my tabletop are just a few things that give my workspace a bit of character and can also serve a purpose, whether that be reference or inspiration, and some things are just too cute or too sentimental to hide away. Be honest with yourself about what you want around, what decor items are getting a little bit stagnant and what can go in a box in the loft until you miss it. And remember, not everyone has to adhere to the minimalist look or whatever else looks great on Instagram. If you find you flourish amongst your trinkets and a creative playground of organised chaos, then embrace the scrap papers and paint splatters and do you. You'll have noticed we've moved on now to the shelves that flank either side of my desk. That's major key number three. Shelves are your friends. A shelving unit can come as cheap as this one from Ikea, or you can come up with your own solutions. These shoe racks stacked on top of each other work great. This bathroom unit cut in two makes a great few surfaces for storage and the additional benefit of tabletop support. Planks of wood on the street, leftover floorboards can all come in handy too. You can never have too many shelves. Try a few configurations for stacking and organising books or papers. You can try and keep them all level for that extra polished look. That's one way to have your shelves looking easy on the eye rather than a cluttered mess, but the easiest solution is containers. All it takes are a few boxes to take your shelving from chaos to calm. This is another situation where you can use whatever you have to hand. I keep smaller containers within larger boxes to separate things into easily accessible categories. Which leads to the next tip, easy access. One of the keys to keeping a neat space is to make sure everything has a place, and you're much more likely to put things away if that place is easy to reach. My most commonly used items are always within reach without having to even get up from my desk. That way they're just as easy to pop back where they belong when I'm done with them, meaning there's never an excuse to leave things lying around. And for one final bonus tip, you'd be surprised what a difference a good chair can make. You can get them surprisingly cheap from places like Amazon like I did with this one, and give an extra bit of luxury with a nice throw or blanket. Hope you enjoyed this peek at my workspace, now for the fun stuff. To say thank you for 100,000 subscribers, I'll be hosting my first ever giveaway. I'll be sending one lucky person, several prints from my shop, as well as one original painting which was never made available for sale. This was the piece I made while I was working on a video with Strathmore. It meant a lot to be able to work with a company that I already love so much, and it's you guys that made that happen, so it feels right to finally give that back. I'm also throwing in some of my favourite art supplies, a lovely moleskin sketchbook, these amazing water brush pens that come in a variety of sizes, a brilliant set of Winsor & Newton gouache paints, the only set of pens you'll ever need, the Zig brush pen I always use, plus a couple of quite exciting surprises. Since I only really wanted to do this to say thanks for everything, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, which I assume you already are, and comment below, say whatever you want, and that is literally it. For a bonus entry, you can also follow me on Instagram, my Instagram will be linked in the description of this video, but as I said, if you don't have Instagram, it's fine, you're already entered as long as you comment below. Just check the video description for all the terms. Entries close on the 18th of April, I will email the winner, who will be chosen at random, and I will also announce it in a video. Good luck guys, can't wait to make someone's day, I've literally never won anything in my life, so I feel like this is as close to the excitement as I'm going to get. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!